Hi, welcome to another episode of Vivid Aquariums TV. I'm Dave, and today we're going to go through our 800 gallon aquarium and show you all the components, filtration, and equipment that makes it work. What's great about this video is that we had the pleasure of working with Ryan Forshaw, who created a 3D model of the aquarium, all of its components, the pumps, the plumbing parts, to give you guys a very clear view of exactly what makes this tank tick. So come on, let's get started. Our 800 gallon tank has three overflow boxes with a total of four two inch drain pipes. These two inch drain pipes enter through the top of the sump here and they flow into the first chamber of the sump which is a drain down chamber. In this chamber water bottoms out and then flows back up. You'll see the bubbles rising up in this chamber. That helps to get bubbles out of the water before it overflows onto the filter socks. Now we have a total of six filter socks for this aquarium. These we run the uh, 200 micron, 7 inch diameter filter socks. These do a great job of helping to catch detritus and waste out of the water. As the water passes through the filter socks, it moves past under the divider into the next section of the sump. In this section of the sump, we house the media reactor where we run Roofos media to help remove phosphates. You'll see in the back of the sump, we have a return line, which is the outlet of the chiller, pumping water back into the aquarium. And on the outlet of the UV sterilizer, we've divided it into three outlets using a spray bar. One of them powers the media reactor with the Roofos. And we have two spares, which now are just creating flow in the sump. In the future, though, if we want to power another media reactor, it's very easy to connect one in to those lines. Now, you also see on this end of the sump, we have the outlet of the protein skimmer emptying. That empties back into the sump. Now we're gonna move forward and check out the protein skimmer. Here we have our Deltec TC3070S protein skimmer. And this is actually rated to handle an aquarium of up to about 1,500 gallons. It has a yellow pan weld pump back in the back which feeds water into the skimmer through this one inch pipe here. And then two pumps here that recirculate water within the skimmer and draw in a mixture of air through these uh, mufflers to create that thick foam and collect all that yucky muck out of the water in the tank. You'll notice underneath the protein skimmer, there's two three inch pipes that run underneath the skimmer. These two three inch pipes connect the first sump to the second sump over here on the right. So now we're gonna take a closer look at this second sump and see what's going on over there. All right, here we are looking at the second of our two sumps. Uh, this sump here, the main reason for adding it to the system was that we needed extra capacity to handle water that would drain down from the main tank in the event of a power failure. Since we had so much extra space, we added four weirs. Now this forces the water up here once, down, and then up again. Each time you force the water up, that helps to remove bubbles from the water so that the return pump is not pushing them up into the display tank. This keeps the water in the display tank much more clear. You notice towards the back of the sump here, you'll see the intake screen and a two inch bulkhead. That's the intake for our return pump. In a minute, we'll walk behind the tank and show you the return pump. But now I wanna look over here at our dosing pump. This is the GHL four pump unit. Currently, we're using three of those four pumps to dose magnesium, calcium, and alkalinity into the aquarium. Now you'll notice if you follow these lines out of the dosing containers through the pump, and you look on top of the sump there, you'll see a tube holder. This is just a nice feature that holds the tubes to make sure that the buffers are dripping in the sump and not on your floor. This 800 gallon tank has actually three overflow boxes in it. There's one at the far left side that has a single two inch drain in it. This overflow box in the middle has two two inch drains. And on the far right side, we have our third overflow box with a single two inch drain. If we look underneath the aquarium, you can see how that drain pipe comes out of the bottom of the overflow box. You'll notice a two inch bulkhead, which goes into a two inch 90, and then our two inch drain pipe runs down all the way to the other end of the tank and empties into the drain down chamber of the first sump that I showed you in the beginning of the video. And this completes the cycle of water from the aquarium back down into the sumps, where the return pump, which we're gonna show you next, will pump the water back up into the tank again. 